Well, you guys, April is almost over, and I thought, well, since I didn't get to review any Titanic movies earlier this month, I decided to do three of them for the end of the month. So, yeah, sorry they're late, but I did miss out last year to do my Titanic review, so I'm kind of behind by two reviews. So that's why I'm going to upload three this year instead of, instead of uh, two. So, we're going to start off with the 1943 uh, German film Titanic or Titanic as they usually call it and this movie is a propaganda film uh, and it shows the whole big issue about this Titanic in the movie is money and fame basically so we got Ishmay the, of course the the man behind White Star Line and Titanic wanting to make the record books and say oh Titanic is this big awesome ship that we made and we're gonna sell across to New York City and this amount of time we're gonna go this amount of speed it's gonna look good for us and yeah all this other bullshit that makes himself look good that's basically the plot of the movie is all propaganda It's all about fame in this movie but you do have characters that I actually like in this movie. And of course, you know the typical ending. The ship hits an iceberg and begins to sink. Yeah, this one I actually kind of enjoyed a lot more. Because it does several things that James Cameron's version does not. Okay? Especially when the ship is getting ready to sink, right? Uh, this dude is offering a guy ten grand. To let him get on a, I a ice boat, to let him get on on a uh, lifeboat, and unlike the 1997 version where he just put the money in his pocket and let him do it, and then later on takes the money out, throw it back at him, that doesn't work. He actually just says "fuck you" and just walks out. Well, he doesn't say "fuck you" because it's 1943, but his eyes says it all. He doesn't take the money. He just like and just walks the fuck out. That is how you fucking do it, James Cameron. That is how you do it. And apparently people did get shot, I guess. So a couple people get shot, of course, in this movie as well as they did in the other movie. I am a little sick, so bear with me. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, and remember the scene where Rose gets on the boat and then jumps out? Here, the girl gets on the boat, and guess what? She stays on the boat. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> in 91 minutes... This movie did everything right that the 3 hour and 16 minute James Cameron film failed to do. Yeah, we got your typical bad guys, that's that's a plus, but they're not cartoon character cookie cutter cutouts of what they should be. They're all seem a little bit more tamed, so that's another plus, okay? And yes, for those of y'all who are wondering, the ship does go down whole in this movie because of course at the time Titanic was assumed to have gone down in one one piece anyways. It was like, I think the early 80s when they found out the ship was in two pieces. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think wise is not bad. I actually kind of like it, even though I can't understand a word they're saying because it's in German. But we do got subtitles to, to take the place of English. So you do have to do a little bit of reading. But it's, it's not bad. I mean, I don't mind reading if I'm watching a, a, a decent movie, and that's exactly what I got. I got a German version of the disaster, even though it takes place, what, I think it's two days, uh, oh, two days after the, the original sinking. If I remember right, Titanic sank on April, April, was it April 12th or April 14th? Well, whichever day it was, they got it, they got it, I think they got it wrong by two days, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was the 14th. If not, if it was, then they did get it right. Ugh, that boggles my mind, but I keep forgetting the damn date. But, yeah, and oh, 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 one more thing they addressed right. They actually fill up the lifeboats. Yes, they fill the shit up. And when they run out, it's every man for himself. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you fucking do it. It took the Germans to do it right. But they did it. And for that reason alone, I want to give Titanic a B. 
B minus actually, because I did enjoy some aspects. The love story in here wasn't fucking forced. It, it got the point across, and they were out in 91 minutes. You got all that done in 91 minutes. Think about that. That's badass. Don't tell me it's not. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the 1943 version of Titanic down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I shall see you guys when I review the 1953 version, which is ironic because I should have reviewed the 1953 version two years ago when I was getting ready to review the 1997 version. So I should have that one up here already. So, yeah. Only I only have the 1997 version up. So, yeah. But, rewatch it again? Why the fuck not? So I'll see y'all in the next decade for the next Titanic.